OK, tomorrow is officially election day. We've been talking about this for a long time. So this morning we want to spend some extra time on how election offices count your vote. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan took some of your questions to leaders to get our community answers. I'm in a democratic society, so I have to have to trust it. We wanted to find out what voters are trusting from Johnson County to Wyandotte and all across Missouri. And I worry because I figure it's my job to worry so that they don't have to. But Missouri's so secretary of state says there's truly nothing to worry about. He oversees elections. It's the people's and we need to make sure that they have the right visibility into the process. I've done some research on it. I kind of wanted to make sure that I felt comfortable with the whole process. Here's the process. Nearly all of our local election boards use machines like these at polling sites. They copy every completed ballot and store each vote on a USB hard drive. At the end of the night, we go through a shutdown process at each polling site and then seal that USB drive into a transfer bag that has a security seal applied to it to make sure the chain of custody is accounted for. All of the election boards make sure those USB drives are encrypted and never touch a computer connected to the internet so no one can hack. In. We track every ballot that we send out and every ballot that comes back. No vote, even advanced or early votes, gets counted before 7 p.m. on election night. We may start preparing them and getting them ready to run through the machines a little bit prior to, but there's nothing that is actually tabulated until 7 o'clock on election night. I'm not worried about it at all. I hope that answered some of your questions. Charlie and I are talking about maybe you didn't know that that machine that tabulates your vote not connected to the internet. They want to make sure that no one is hacking into that system, that your vote is your vote, and it is accounted for right there. And are those poll workers volunteer, get paid? So those poll workers actually are getting paid, Lindsay. Okay. And they every election official that I heard from said, if you have any doubts about the system, you should become a poll worker. You'll learn the ins and outs and get a very clear picture on how our elections work inviting you into the process. Exactly.